Cap. What's good with you, bro? Not much, not much. Just here. Appreciate you doing this interview with us, man. Thank you, thank you, man. Definitely. A lot of good projects coming on the way, man. I see you working hard with a Mario film visual. Nice to man. Yep. Shout out to Mario, man. Okay. So one thing I want to ask you, where are you from and how was it growing up? Me, I'm here from Chicago. Okay. And uh, from Brighton Park. From uh, Brighton Park? Yeah. I've been moving here and there and stuff like that, but um, I've been over here at Brighton Park most of since uh since a long time, a couple of years over here. Okay. So when did you move to Brighton Park? I moved to Brighton Park like probably like about since 06. 06? Yeah, since 06. Okay. How old are you? Me? I'm 30. Just hit 30. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's a blessing, man. A lot Honestly, of guys don't Honestly, make it to 30 living in Chicago. Honestly, man. I'm grateful. I'm happy to be here. I'm 30 years old. Ever since, you know, ever since I passed my uh, my 18, I part, I, every birthday I party hard because, man, it's right. crazy. It's crazy out here. Definitely. Okay. So now, you know, you're in Chicago. What inspired you to start, you know, doing music? Music, worldwide, with, like I said, is, um, like I was mentioning, um, Tupac and Eminem. Okay. Because uh, Tupac is like that thug, man. That little, since little hearing his music, mm -hmm. my, uh, my people's put me on. Then Eminem, because he's lyrical like crazy. But Chicago-wise, thug. No, Doug. Ah, oh, real. Yeah, the yeah. king of Chicago. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. King of Chicago, man, Doug. Watching his videos before he, before the fame and everything, and hearing his music, man, and seeing how he came up and he was getting, you know, up there. That's what inspired me to, you know, make music, put it out there, and I went for it, man. Yeah, Doug was a family man. I feel like without him, I wouldn't have got as far as I was. He really put me in position to make yeah. a lot of money, become something. You know, yeah. I remember when uh, I met him, and I didn't have anything, you know? Yeah. And um, ever since I was rolling with him, like, I started seeing a whole lot of different things that I never saw before. Yeah. So, yeah, Doug, definitely a good role yeah, model in the city. A lot of his interviews, and, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people see... The way he, you know, one side, but man, if you listen to his interviews, man, right, he speak facts, you know, he did his thing. He was, they, people be saying, why not leave the hood? But if you ain't a street motherfucker, you don't understand that shit, you know. Yeah, that's true. A but lot of things to take care of. In you, and you want to look out for your guys, make sure everybody is good. Right. You know. Definitely. Okay. So now I want to ask you, you know. Who are your role models in the hip hop world? You know, you said Eminem, Tupac, yeah. FBG, Duck. Who would you want to work with in the future, whether it be in the industry, whether it be, you know, in the city of Chicago? Um, there's a few, there's a couple, there's a few guys out there. I mean, Tay, uh, Tay Save, uh, don't know if I'm saying it right. Tay Sav, uh, uh, Pappy's brother, right? Yeah, Tay Yeah, Tay Sav. Uh, mm -hmm. What's his name? Uh, FY, FYB J Man. Man yep. Oh yeah. Definitely. He got that hype. I was trying to get that hype for that first video. It should be like him, but he's just too hype. He's up there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. always up there, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. So now, let's say you know you got a choice. You know, crazy question here. Yeah. Let's say you got a Tupac feature in one room, and then you got an Eminem feature in the other. O only pick one. Damn, that's, it's just real hard. It's real hard. <laughs> I ask my people Tupac. that all the time. Tupac. Tupac? Tupac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though I fuck heavy with Eminem, but Tupac. Okay. He's a legend. He's a motherfucking legend, Tupac. Okay, definitely. What's your favorite Tupac song? Tupac song, Vision as a Writer. Um, it's a lot, all of them, actually. Okay. All right, so now I want to ask you, man, do you have any new mixtapes or albums coming out that we're going to hear in the future? I'm dropping more songs right now. I'm trying to get get to a mixtape. Uh, I'm not sure exactly yet, but I'm working on it. You know, I got more songs. got songs dropping. So, Okay. Yeah. Do you write or freestyle when you're in the studio? Um, I write, but I'm trying to... Uh, I could freestyle here and there. I do some. I put some of my snaps in social media but I try to write but I'm trying to go into that freestyling stuff because I feel like 
when you freestyle, it comes from you right there and then. You ain't got to plan mm -hmm. it. You ain't got to work on it. You just, just come straight up. Right. Definitely, definitely. Okay. So now, let's say you make a hit tomorrow. Yeah. Would you sign to a record label or would you stay independent with a manager? Mm. I feel like I'm trying to, trying to maybe solo, but who knows, you know? Okay. Who knows, depends. Uh, what the what the deal brings, but uh, as of right now, independent, trying to get myself up there. You know, like a lot of these uh, Chicago rappers, that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say in this day and age, yeah. if you make it far enough for a label to notice you anyway, you've already you right. know done what you're yeah. supposed to do, so you don't need them anyway. True. <laughs> True. You know, Big Chris, I see him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Shout out Big Chris, man. Yeah, shout out. Mm hmm. Okay. So now, basically, you know, you got some new visuals coming. Mm -hmm. um, are we going to see a visual coming in the future? You, you just did the video for No Hook. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got, I, got, I got some more. I got, uh, I got this morning, too. Okay. I'm coming up. I'm trying to, I'm working on that. Hopefully, uh, next month. Okay. March, the end of March, I should. I'm going to try to drop one every month or even earlier than that. Okay. So I can let the people see, you know, check me out, see what they think. Yeah, visuals definitely help out a lot, mm -hmm. you know. If nothing else helps, visuals definitely help. Right. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, 2020, uh, the year 2020. It was a tough year for rappers, man. We watched a lot of rappers, you know, die and get shot. Chicago took two big losses, man. We saw the death of FBG Duck and King Von. You know, how did you feel when you got the news about, you know, Duck's passing? Man, it sucked. It sucked because I was like, man, he had a lot, you know, a lot coming for him, man. You know, it just sucks. It just fucked up. It's just fucked up, but, you know, that shit hit hard, you know, watching. I was like, nah. Once I seen the news, I was like, That's, that ain't true. He gonna be good. But shit, shit fucked up. Yeah. Do you... Chicago. Do you feel that it's dangerous for a rapper nowadays than it ever was before? Yeah, I mean, basically, being out here, I feel like it's envy in a way, too, because I've snow what's up, you know? They always see you out there. We see, we mm -hmm. see people out there doing their thing, but they see you try to uh, get up there, try to make your money, right. support your family, and now they want to, now they hate, they hate, they start hating, they, wanna, they don't want to see you get up there. Right. Instead of just letting us out. Right. Make that money. Yeah, and I'm going to say, I think the music plays a big role in it because yeah. a lot of times in Chicago, ops already knew each other, grew right. up together, a guy you didn't get along with in school or the neighborhood. Right. But now that you guys are rappers and famous, you know, it kind of perpetuates the issue. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. It like, it like hypes it. I mean, we, we do it, you know, because this mm -hmm. is what, what we know, the street life. Right. And um, they see it in their way, their perspective. Like we poking at them, but we just really making music, trying to, you know, right. have fun. You know? Right. Now, do you feel like a lot of these blog sites and media outlets, you know, um, I don't want to call names. Of course, we could say academics, of course. Yeah. You know, people like him. Do you feel like they amp a lot of shit up in Chicago between like a lot of the beefs and the rappers? Like, do you feel like bloggers have a lot to do with it, like instigating, things like that? I mean, bloggers, yeah. They, they, they got a lot, they, but they do, but, you know, I mean, who, who falls for that? I mean, you got to right. know what to follow or not to follow. I mean, you got to have your mindset, you know. Yeah, he does hype a lot of stuff, up, but okay. That's what it is. I mean, I guess that's just what he's doing. Just like we rap about our stuff, our shit, how we do it. He does his thing. Mm -hmm. I don't hate on nobody. Let's just get this money and just do something, you know? Okay. So now, one thing I want to ask you about, you know, a lot of rappers are doing a lot of things online. Do you feel like it's easier to get rich now than it was before in the hip-hop world? Do you feel like it's easier to become rich now than it probably ever was before? You know, because back then you probably needed. Yeah, I mean more social you know. media. Yeah. More social media and uh, you know, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all of that. You get to uh, meet more people and they get to see you work with you. As soon as you put your your word out, your name out, you know, people fucks with your music. You know, you you really ain't got to do nothing but sit back and it just. 
Right. Right. Okay. So now another situation is going on in the world right now. We have the coronavirus, the COVID nineteen. Yeah. Um, a lot of people it's slowing down a lot of people from getting money. Yeah. Has it affected you in any way as an artist? Like stopping shows, maybe? Um, well right now I'm just starting. I'm okay. starting but I mean studio wise, yeah, it was couldn't get I couldn't get in studios just recently I started hitting studios because they started opening up. Okay. But yeah, I mean at this stop, work wise, I mean I just doing my thing, hustling, you know, doing my thing, working, trying to get this money for the fam. Definitely. Okay. So now your rap name, rap. Where does that uh come from? Rap. That came from years ago. I'm talking about when I was like 12, 13 years old. I was I was tagging. I used to tag. Okay. Graffiti, you know, hit the lines and stuff like that, and I just picked picked it up. I was it was Rip first. It was R.I.P. Okay. I wanted to get the R.I.P. time name, but I switched it up. I was like, I just added the E, took out the I. It became Rip, and everybody knows me like that. Rip. Okay. And then you put the gang right there. I see the gang on the hat. Yeah, you know, Rip, Rip gang. gang. Yeah, representing, you know. Okay. Okay. So do you have like maybe your own brand, your own label? Uh, I'm trying, I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying to hit with it, with the rep gang, put my name out there, you know, and see what's up. Okay, definitely. Okay, so what do we, what should we know about rep that we don't know already? Man, just, you know, hustling, just hustling, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get this money and okay what advice do you have to the young artists coming up in the city of Chicago I mean if you you know do what you got uh, what you feel like it's right you know it took me a while to come out here and uh, start rapping and doing all of this stuff because I felt like you know what's well, not for me mm -hmm. but it's always good to give it a try man, and do your thing you never know where you could go with it you know what I'm saying okay that's a good way to look at it Okay, so now if anybody wants to reach out for any business inquiries, where could they find you at? Instagram, Rep the Boss, or uh, Facebook, uh, Rep, Rep Rodriguez, or you know, just hit me up. Right there, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Rep the Boss. Okay. Now I want to ask you, you know, uh, earlier you talked to me and Mario about taking trips. You know, we talked about Miami and Cali. Yeah. What is one of your favorite places you like to go vacation in and just, you know, have fun, tee up? Uh, I went to uh, Vegas already. I went to Miami. Ah, uh, Vegas. Went, yeah, even though addicting. I want to go back over there. You want to go back to Vegas, huh? Yeah, yeah it's I addicting. I Cali over there too as well. Mm -hmm. I was actually planning to go to Cali 2020, but, the, you know, plans went down the drain because of this whole COVID. Yeah. It, tickets are cheaper now. I, they're not stopping trips anymore yeah. like how they the were yeah. yeah they at were the at the beginning that's when i was hyped up doing it but then i was like you know mm -hmm. what, just chill wait for 2021 because my my thing was every year going somewhere doing something going yeah. big you know for the birthday okay. like i said you know chicago crazy out here so yeah you gotta live every year to the fullest Definitely. I uh, also look at Chicago artists as a blessing, man. Chicago's very dope with sound, um, yeah. style. Do you feel like the whole world jocks Chicago, you know, ever since Keith came out? I mean, drill movement and all of that came from movie. So, I mean, they started it. It's, and it's, it's a trend to survive. Everybody started grabbing from it. So, I mean, it's, they made it good, Chief and all of that. Mm -hmm. they, they did their thing and I was going, going around. Yeah, they say, you know, Atlanta is like Hollywood for the rap game and everything, but I feel like Chicago has a wave too. So, like, you know, whatever I do with Chicago, you know, blows up a lot quicker than anyone else yeah. for my platform. So I feel like it's easier to just, you know, catch a wave in Chicago, whether you're a rapper, a comedian, a, right. you know, a model, whatever, you know. Yeah, Chicago got it. I mean, Chicago. Yeah. It's not just about all of that, all of that uh, shooting and stuff like that. A lot of talent here in Chicago. A lot of talent. Definitely. A lot of people slept on here in Chicago. For real. Mm -hmm. They should be blowing up. Definitely. Where can we see you in the next five years as an artist? Man, hopefully up there, man. Hopefully up there with like 
you know, a lot of names up there, you know, okay. making, making big moves, you know. Hopefully it's my it's the beginning of this and not, I ain't stopping, you know, I got more hits coming. Okay. See where it takes me. Okay. So now last question I want to know, man, you know, I ask everybody this. If you was to have a mixtape or an album, what would you call it and why? Mixtape? Uh, off the top of my head would be like Up There. Mixtape, I call it Up There. Okay. You know, just, just because of the fact that like getting to that point for me since I'm starting making a mixtape and if it hits, you know what I'm saying? It's took me a while to get up there and lessons you know yeah your own authenticity is the key to your own success you know yeah you being you you know right. always definitely all right well yeah definitely appreciate this interview bro definitely want to hear some good things about you in the future man definitely thank you appreciate it man. appreciate it all right